If you're heading to a game at Nationals Park, I'm going to tell you about my favorite places to eat and drink nearby. Hello, welcome to Trip Hacks DC. My name is Rob. I'm a tour guide here in the nation's capital. If you're coming to Washington DC and you're looking for the best tips, tricks, and hacks for exploring the city, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any new videos. And if you're interested in signing up for a Trip Hacks DC tour, head on over to TripHacksDC.com afterwards to see the tours that I offer. If you've been to a game at Nationals Park and have any favorite places to go out nearby, leave a comment on this video and let me know what they are. Also, make sure to check out the video description where I'll leave links to all of the places I'm going to talk about in this video and a Google map to show you exactly where they are. So let's get started. The first place on my list is Justin's Cafe. Justin's has a special place in the hearts of many Nationals fans. Because believe it or not, there was a time not even that long ago when the area around the ballpark looked completely different than it does today. Justin's opened for the 2010 baseball season, and for the next three seasons, if you wanted to go out before or after a game, it was Justin's Cafe because nothing else existed yet. This is still my favorite place to go before a weeknight game because of their awesome progressive happy hour. The way that it works is that you can get a craft beer for $3 from 4 to 6, $4 from 6 to 7, and $5 from 7 to 8. And trust me when I say that a $3 craft beer is a legitimately awesome deal in DC. And if you want to eat here, the pizzas are my favorite thing on the menu. If you are a craft beer lover, then a trip to Blue Jacket is almost mandatory on a trip to DC. Blue Jacket is a very cool urban brewery where beers are brewed on site, and at any time you can get about 20 of them on tap and a few special cask ales as well. The beers rotate seasonally, so if you come here in the beginning of the baseball season, you'll be able to try different things than when you come at the end of the season. There's also a really nice outdoor patio, and on a game day, you can get a sausage or a hamburger cooked up on the outdoor grill. Next on my list is Banchan, a Korean-style fried chicken restaurant. My all-time favorite bar food is wings and beer and Banchan has both. With all of their chicken dishes, you get to choose spicy, soy garlic, or half and half. I personally always go with the spicy. In addition to wings, they've got chicken strips, chicken drumsticks, and a full menu of Korean dishes that don't even have anything to do with chicken at all. And on game days, the kitchen stays open till 11 p.m., which is usually plenty of time for a post-game snack. There are a lot of options for outdoor drinking near Nationals Ballpark, but my personal favorite is the Brig. It's actually the farthest walk from the ballpark, but it's worth it in my opinion. The Brig calls itself DC's secret beer garden because it is the neighborhood's best kept secret. It's located just a block north of the 8th Street gate of the Washington Navy Yard, hence the nautically themed name. They rotate about 20 beers on tap with a mix of German and American breweries including some from DC. And if you do have kids with you, it's worth noting that they do advertise being family friendly. Now, of all the bars and restaurants located near Nationals Park, the one that is truly a baseball bar is the Big Stick. When you walk in the door, you will see their logo of Teddy Roosevelt swinging a sausage like a baseball bat. And if you haven't yet guessed from the name or the logo, their signature dish is sausage. There's plenty of Washington Nationals memorabilia on the walls. In the back corner, an F.P. Santangelo Montreal Expos jersey, which is relevant because he's currently the color commentator for the Nationals and can sometimes be seen at places like the Big Stick. So while it's pretty rare to see an actual player out in the neighborhood, it's not that uncommon to see coaches, announcers, or other staff at a place like this. The last two places I want to mention haven't even been open for a full baseball season yet, but their location is really awesome. Due South Dockside and Piccolo are both located right on the riverfront boardwalk. They're located right under the Yards Park Bridge, which you might remember if you watched my Instagram video. Because the Yards Park is such a cool place to hang out, I think that these are going to be great additions for daytime ball games. And before we end this video, I just want to say that the area around Nationals Ballpark has come a long way since it was Justin's Cafe or Bust. And it's still developing at a breakneck speed. There are a lot of great places, and the ones that I've mentioned are just my personal favorites. So if you have any favorites, make sure to leave a comment on this video so that others can look and see what they are. And that's it! Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the Trip Packs DC logo, which is popping up right now at the bottom of the screen. And if you're coming to DC and want to sign up for a Trip Packs DC tour, you can click on the Capitol Dome on the left side of my head. That'll take you over to TripPacksDC.com, where you can see the tours that I offer. Enjoy your trip!